Welcome, everybody, to Project Zomboid. Couple of things to know, obviously, straight off the bat here. Number one, never played Project Zomboid. Probably quite relevant when we're playing Project Zomboid. Secondly, of course, I'm using crappy microphone on account of my actual regular proper microphone blowing up. So, uh, things are going to sound a little bit different. I'm going to spend a, quite a while probably trying to edit the audio make it okay. I apologize if it still sounds a bit crappy after all is said and done, but I thought it's either... We do some, you know, we do some other videos that wouldn't normally do, some experimental stuff, kind of test out some things here. Uh, or, there's nothing at all. So, hey, we might as well take an opportunity when it's given to us, right? So, Project Zomboid, then. I put up a poll a few days ago for the patrons to vote on basically what the next game on the channel is going to be. Uh, and there were quite a few choices, but the, the, the predominant choice, and the one I think is definitely the right fit for the channel, is... Project Zomboid. I know nothing about this game. I've never watched anybody play it. I haven't even read the Steam page. I hit the buy button and here we are in Project Zomboid. So this is probably going to be incredibly high tier gameplay. So prepare yourself. Uh, I have seen that on YouTube it's quite popular amongst people who play and watch Rimworld. I know Amphibian has done a lot of stuff in it. I have no idea what to expect. Like I said, never watched this game. I have no idea what this is about. Let's dive in. A completely blind experience. I see you were infected quite recently. Do you want a tutorial before the inevitable occurs? Um, I guess I probably do, yeah. I think that's probably a safe bet in hindsight. I'm not known for being extremely good at reading. So, these are the end times. There was no hope of survival. Even the microphones were taken. There's still no hope of survival, just in case you're wondering. Uh, ah, this is how you died. Starting strong. <laughs> Can't even get into the tutorial. I am a games journalist. Welcome to Project Zomboid. Shortly you'll find yourself dying horribly. No one will mourn you and you'll be swiftly forgotten. That's YouTube. Everything will have been for nothing. So let's make sure you go out fighting. Press space to continue. First things first. You can zoom with your mouse wheel or the equals and minus keys. Yes, we can. Let's get a bird's eye view. The longer place we're going to die. Zoom out. Now zoom in again. Thank you, tiny angry panda. Okay, next up, clicking on this heart icon will bring up your character information. Here you can see your health status, scratches, bites, broken limbs, all shown here for your convenience. If you have medical skills, it's also here you'll be able to patch yourself up. Wow. Hey, that's, uh, hey, how are you doing? Uh, excellent. Okay, speaking of which, let's check out the exciting skills panel. Oh, absolutely unskilled. Perfectly suited to YouTube. You're really good at this. It's going to be such a shame to lose you. Panel shows points in various survival skills. Press space to continue. While attempting to delay your death, in-game activities will build up skill points that let you level up that particular discipline. Your learning speed can be increased by reading books. Not very good at that. Ultimately, your brain will become cold, dead sludge, but in the meantime, why not learn carpentry? Excellent. Okay. Uh, what's this that's popped up? Excuse me, sir. Oh, uh, you actually want me to learn carpentry. Sorry, my bad. Um, it's best... Press space to continue. I've already broken it. How... <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we are, that's better. I'm really excited about what's coming next. Close the character panel to find out what- I thought it was actually trying to make us learn carpentry there as part of the tutorial, which would be a bizarre move. Uh, okay. I'm looking at stuff. Woo, hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse. You'll turn and face any angle. What- what is this? Oh, is this something else to read through quickly? New- ah, oh, okay, there you go. Weather guide. Okay, cool. Um, weather patterns are realistic. Simulated climate system uses time of year and, and virtual weather fronts to create the rain, snow, fog, and thunderstorms. Oh, it's one of those games. Okay. Uh, as in something extremely detailed that I have to think about. Damn it. What have I signed up for? The impact of cold and warm temperatures has an, have an impact on your survival. When winter draws in, your resistance to cold might be highest if you're well fed, not tired, and wearing proper winter clothing. Okay, it would help to keep active and physically fit. I'm doomed. Sickness and wetness will increase the likelihood of suffering from the cold. During periods of- I'm not touching that. During periods of extreme cold, it's best to walk with a heat source inside a building. Right, got it. Wind chill. Uh, wind chill will become a factor and heavy rain will compound this. Blizzards in midwinter can severely drop the temperature. They do be like that. It's in Fahrenheit. I am definitely doomed now. Okay, this could be a problem. There's probably a mod for it. I did notice they had Steam Workshop support, so that might be the first thing I have to download. If my life depends on Fahrenheit, brother, brother made me into a snowman preemptively, because I'm done. I'm out. Keep an eye on your moodlets to see what's impacting you. Wrap up warm, Survivor. You are, I mean, honestly, Survivor is uh, optimistic. Okay, holding down the right button to move the mouse, you've turned to face any angle. Oh, look at this, on-the-spot pivoting. It's got very much a um, Sims 1 graphics. Again, I, I have no idea what to expect with this game. Uh, very Sims 1 graphics, isn't it? C 
can only see the direction you're facing, so we've got realistic fog of war. Oh, I like that. Really builds up the tension, huh? And I assume windows work as windows do. Swift and unexpected death can come from behind, whether from shambling undead host or from your fellow man. Let's get some blood pumping before it congeals and rots. Move around with WASD. Oh man, this has got a very Sims 1 vibe, huh? We've got some, uh, we've got some spam. We've got a, we've got a vial of piss, just in case we get extremely bored. Okay. Here we are. Let's strafe. Holding right mouse button will let you look around while walking. Hello? There's either a zombie around or a Tory. That sounds like a dead person. Object, <laughs> often in Project Zomboid, you need to run away very, very quickly. Spring back to the marker in the kitchen counter. Ah! Starvation can be stored by looting the homes of the recently deceased. Good advice for your life as well. Move your panel over to the loot panel and expand it. The loot panel, you say. This this is the loot panel. Uh, a dead mouse. Oh, it's like being in my actual house. Fantastic. Probably pick up that empty bottle too. Dying of thirst is horrid. You see those moodlets on the right of the screen? Looks like someone has a rumbly tummy. Time to eat. Right clicking item will bring up an interact option. Eat the mouse. Okay, so this is the transfer tab. Got it. We can pin that open. That's great. So on inventory, it might be good to pin open, but I don't want it to be annoying for you guys. Um, right click the mouse. Eat the mouse. We can eat half a mouse, quarter of a mouse. I'm feeling... <laughs> I'm feeling brave. Let's go full mouse. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, it's made us very sick though, huh? Thank you, little panda. Let's fill up your water bottle before the water is cut off. Right-clicking items in the world bring up interaction items, so fill your bottle from the sink. Okay, I can do that. Uh, let's go... Um, clean items in the world, so we don't need to... We just, we just go straight to the sink, huh? Uh, walk to... Uh, ah, there we are. Fill empty bottle. Don't think I was quite clicking in the right place. Hey, there we are. You'll also want to drink from any water that's carried in your main inventory. Let's see what's in the other cupboards. Let's open the loot panel back up. Right. Oh, yeah, this is cool. Nice. It's a good kind of area looting, then. Um, so nothing in those. When you click them, that is highlighting on the map there, too. That's worth mentioning. Uh, we can take a look at what whatever that's supposed to be. The, the floor? All right. Let's go and take a look, then. Hello. A frying pan. Ah, oh, we can use our helpful frying pan as a dying pan. Okay. Uh, and equip it as a primary weapon. Thanks, Brock. Very cool. Getting stuff in here. Let's pop in the window and get some fresh air while your lungs are still inflated. Uh, e for the pure joy of it. Oh, there we go. A zombie. Sneak out the window and beat it to death. Raccoon. I have a feeling... Ah! It's angry at me. Shit. Uh, hold E. Oh, hold E. Right, got it. Here we are. She hasn't seen us. Huzzah. Oh, there it is. As well as sneaking, strafing, looking around, holding right mouse button will ready your weapon for attack. I've got hiccups already. It's the excitement. Right. Hold the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm getting extreme Dagoth wave vibes here. Look at the definition on her calves. My god, I think our first character is a fucking marathon runner, huh? Right, okay. Sneaky, sneaky. And uh, swing with left mouse button. Oh! I did it. Take that, mum. Now she's on the ground, feel free to hammer LB to pierce her brains with bits of her own broken skull. Die! Have I... Ah, there we are. Very visceral. I like it. Check the zombie survival guide, F1, for more tips on survival, cooking, crafting, construction, farming, and looting. There's one more thing you need to know. If you ever get bitten by a zombie, press Q to swallow the antidote to the infection. Press Q now. Are you... Is it mocking me? Only kidding. All hope is gone. There is no antidote. Have fun. Thank you, Mr. Raccoon. Uh, instead, we've shouted, hey, I'm over here. Oh, is Q get the attention of enemies? Oh, no. Do you guys hear that? Oh no. Oh my good god. Run! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Am I supposed to die? I feel like this is a... This is a setting you up to fail type thing. Wow, look at them. There's bloody loads of them, huh? Shit. Hello? I think we can take him. I think we can take him. Okay. Oh! Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. This is... This is quite horrific, isn't it? You can do it. You can do it. Wow, I'm surprised we aren't dead yet, to be honest with you. Oh, shit. What have we got going on over here? Oh, well. Huh. <laughs> wow. Okay. And there we are. Tutorial done. Let's get in then. Okay. 
What have we got then? The recommended Zomboid experience, one week later for casual players, or six months later for pro players. Pretty good. Okay, uh... Challenges, you have one day. You're back in Notts County, you're on back on the map where Project Zomboid Infection first began. Oh, look at this, this is quite cool. Right, we got opening hours, the mall is surrounded, okay, that's cool. Winter is coming. So we've got some very famous scenarios here, I like it. Oh, this is quite cool. Right, I think uh, we go for the, the casual play. Uh, I'm going to go easy. I'm going to go easy. And we'll see how we do here. So we've got Mul Mul Muldra. Uh, KY. I don't know why, where KY is. Riverside. KY. Is it Kentucky? I have no idea. Uh, Rosewood. KY. Or West Point. KY. Uh, yeah, there we are. Kentucky. Right, what have we got then? So we've got kind of a small suburb. Okay. Your Riverside KY seems a bit more... I don't know if that's more densely packed in hindsight. This one seems quite... Quite sizable. I like the look of this one. Let's go West Point. Uh, four name. We're gonna be, uh... Oh man, this is always the toughest... This is always the toughest part. Uh, we're gonna be... Uh, we're gonna be Plotter. Plotter. Uh... Plotter Dick. Because that was Richardson. So I'm going to shorten it to just Dick. Plotter, Plotter Dixon. I like it. Does sound a little bit detective, I will admit. Plotter Dixon. Uh, Louis Sant... No! Louis! Right, okay. Pl Plotter Dixon. Okay. Uh, there we are. Skin colour. Uh, we've got two options. Excellent. Doesn't really matter too much. Chest hair. Uh, fine. Yes. Stubble. Yes. Top. Give me that, give me that sweater. I'm going to make me. So this is incorrect. <laughs> would I would I wear a, a sweater or a vest? I would I would probably wear a sweater. Um, does that have an effect on the cold climate? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I, I do dress in very dark clothes in hindsight. I sp there's no slipper option as well, so I feel a little bit. Uh, what have we got? We got the Picard. Oh, that's pretty good. Recede, short, messy. I think is probably the most appropriate. I'm kind of like here. Yeah, beard type none. Yeah, bang on. Plotter Dixon, i.e. My OC, please do not steal. Right, do you want to be a fire officer? Is there absolutely useless online entertainer? If you can even call me that. Burger flipper is probably fairly close. Not that I'm saying, you know, anything about burger flippers. Uh, we've got speed demon. Okay, available traits. Here we are. So these cost a minus one, but we can take bad traits to give us back some perks here. Big fan of that. What does that do? Blade maintenance and cooking. That actually doesn't seem too terrible, to be frank. Just go for a melee character build then, huh? Seems a pretty poor choice when there are zombies uh, fucking everywhere. Okay, speed demon the fast driver. Got better vision at night. Dexterous transfers items quickly. Okay. Uh, let's turn to read books. Outdoorsman. Oh, that seems interesting. Wakeful seems like a pretty good one as well. Iron gut. Less chance to have food illness. Seems fairly safe. Angler for fishing. Baseball player for blunt accuracy. Brave. We don't become panicked. Oh man, there's actually... Uh, Okay, interesting. We didn't get any about that in the tutorial, so there's obviously going to be far more to learn than what we've seen so far. Okay, what's the most expensive perks? Strong Athletic. Oh, yeah, these all seem quite good. Uh, let's go for... How many traits have we got? Sorry. Uh, I really have no idea. Oh, two points. Oh, bollocks. Okay. Uh, I like the idea of... Let's be reasonable here. I don't know if I'm going to survive long enough to sleep, so that may be irrelevant. Let's go for... Uh, Brawler? To go for that blade, I'm gonna double down on blade. We're gonna be, we're gonna be more ninja supreme here. Uh, I, I, I would like that, please. We got minus four. Uh, we could take a couple of very slow driver. Transfers inventory items makes more noise when moving, especially prone to becoming panicked. Uh, I like the idea of. I, I feel like slow reader. We're not gonna be reading books in an emergent situation anyway. Emergent is the wrong word to use there, but well, might be the right word to use there. We're gonna throw in slow reader, and we're gonna throw in. Sunday driver, we drive more slowly. Uh, yeah, let's go for that as well. We're in a car, so I feel like inherently you've got quite an advantage there over zombies. Uh, so if we take one more perk, we can actually take... Is there any plus one? Oh, there's no plus one. It's a bad combo. Get rid of Sunday driver then. Uh, oh, this is tricky. This is tricky. Or oh, we could go for a plus four. Uh, hearty appetite, pacifist. Prone to illness, sleepyhead, smoker... Asthmatic. That seems appropriate. Uh, I'll take... 
claustrophobic, agor agoraphobic. Oh, this is hard. I don't know how relevant these things are. Let's go random. Ready? Okay, and stop. Overweight. Yep, bang on. Perfect. Right, let's do it. We got four points to spend there because we're overweight now, so that's all right. Uh, we'll go for less sleep and... Uh, less sleep. Oh, we could go... Dexterous. Yeah, fine. Let's dive in. I'm not going to waste too much time, you know, trying to min-max a game that I do not understand at all. All right. These are the end times. There was no hope of survival. Just me and my trusty spatula in the land of Kentucky. Boy, I say boy. This is how you died. Okay. We're, we're playing as the colonel, essentially. Uh, we're playing as the colonel. I, 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 that was a poor choice. I've chosen the restaurant that quite famously does not really sell burgers. Okay. Control yourself. You're not going to survive long if you don't take deep breaths. Basic instincts. Don't run. Survivors who run become rapidly dead. Precision, people. Water way to go. Clear water is essential. The zombie claws at doors without and windows. If in doubt, barricade. Avoid peeping toms. If you're dead, but they can still see through the window. Cook it up. Food poisoning isn't fun. Managing adventure quickly and efficiently saves you time. Okay. I shouldn't really be doing this, I guess, right now. But that's all right. Uh, revving engine will attract the hole from a distance. Fog storms and snow make the threat more... Okay, and that's it for now. All right, then. Plotter Dixon, the 27-year-old. 95 pounds? Overweight. 95 what? Kilograms? Feathers? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Americans and the lack of metric system. All right, here we go. I only measure myself in grams, thank you. Okay, we've got a clear, clear passage out that way. We've got a clear, clear way out that way too. I don't even really have to worry too early on about about uh, zombies, right? So I think that's probably fairly safe. Do items go off as we loot them? So say for example, I pick up all this shit. Actually, do we want to? Do I want to be looting everything, or do I want to hunker down? I guess that's a... That's probably a relevant... A relevant thing to think of. Okay, let's let's put our food back a second. Uh, fresh. So I assume fresh food put in a fridge won't deteriorate, right? I assume that's what that thing is there. Um, okay, fair enough. What else we got here? The, the steak. Put the, put the steak back. TV dinner. I don't know what a TV dinner is, but I assume that, that goes in the fridge. Uh, tofu fresh. Yeah, that's probably appropriate. Pineapples in the fridge? Probably not. Your mortar and pestle, just in case we come across a wandering apocryphy. Right, have we got anything on the bookshelf? Oh, here we are. Foraging for beginners. Okay, I want to see how long it takes to read. So I think it's probably worth just checking a couple of these out. Right, okay. Take a seat, young Skywalker. Uh, sleep, rest. Can we just sit down? Oh, it, it just rests us. Got it, got it, got it. Right, so let's take a look then. What do we do with foraging for beginners? Let's go ahead and read that. How long does that take? Oh, uh, decades. Wow. Do we have like a... We have a progress bar, I assume? Zero out of 220. Oh, so you basically read in real time. That's quite cool. Uh, I can't help but notice there is a speed three button. I will resist. I promise you this much. Okay? We, we'll avoid that for the time being. I'm sure I can survive. <laughs> oh, I just closed the bloody loot panel. I didn't have to bring it back up. Uh, place pick up this... Oh, shit. How did I do it? Ah, oh, there we are. We're good. We're alright. Nothing to worry about. Right, let's go ahead and, uh, quickly minimize you. Have I pinned that by accident? Uh, doesn't really matter too much. Sure we'll, sure we'll figure it out. Right, how do I leave? Open door. Hello? Okay, seems fairly safe for the time being. Now, we might want to scout out and potentially move into a bigger house, because we've got a bit of a box house there. Okay, there's a zomba, zomba over there. Hello? Okay, what have we got in here? A little bathroom. Okay. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I've just got to survive as long as possible, huh? Oh, Jesus. Okay. This is already... It's already getting me on edge. I already feel like I'm... I'm... I'm spending too long fucking around. There is a battery, though. That seems like that could be really useful. What have we got here? Fresh food? We've got a proper refrigerator in here. Very nice. What have we got in here? It's America. How is there not guns everywhere? Normal hiking bag. That seems pretty useful. Give me that. Padded jacket padded pants. Rubber band and a red pen. We could MacGyver it and uh, see if we can build a pen. Can we equip this uh, for primary? Oh, there we are. It gives us maybe a bit more inventory space or something like that. Oh, cool. There we go. I imagine we're probably slightly slower as a result here. Um, right. See, I feel like forks 
Probably not so relevant. What else have we got here? Mortar and pestle. I feel like that's not super relevant. Jar lid. Let's get rid of that. Flower. Uh, I, again, it seems all stuff that's uh, a luxury that we cannot afford in the end times. Water bottle. I assume that's a, a, a water bottle filled with water and isn't just a bottle for water. We don't have a weapon, which is a bit concerning. Alright, let's see what we can find. Is there anything else in our property that I might have missed here? Got a little bathroom there without a window. I'm a big fan of these windowless uh, houses. Oh, we do have a, a door here I missed. My bad. Right, we've got... Still no gun. Disappointing. I suppose the gun's not really that practical in the uh, in the apocalypse. The newspaper. Can we, I assume we can read that. Boredom reduction and stress reduction. Sure, we'll take that with us. Why not? We're quite way down, aren't we? Can we equip these? Ah, here we are. Let's get these equipped then. Padded jacket clothing. Equip primary and then equip secondary. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, I assume that's right. Maybe you can only equip one piece of clothing at a time because we are, uh... We are the neighborhood diddler, apparently. Okay, just be careful. Take a look through. Can zombies be in houses? Ah, I feel like I've just bloody answered my own question there. We'll give them the old razzle-dazzle. They, they don't seem to be particularly hostile to us right now. Okay. Don't mind me, zombies. Just looking for a little weapon here to beat you over the head with. Blouse and underwear. Pre what is that? Premium technology. Oh, a radio. That seems like it could be quite useful in a survival situation. Okay, fairly innocuous zombies going on here. Just go ahead and close that again if you don't mind. Oh! Help me! Help me! Get away. Get away. Please, open the door. Open the door. And run. And run. And run. I don't know how to fight back. I haven't got a weapon. Brother, stay away from me. Oh, I've made a horrible mistake. Are we okay? Minor pain. Extreme panic. Moderate exertion. Shut the door. No! Shut the door. Okay. I could really do with a weapon. <laughs> Are they... Oh, no. I seem to be banging at the door. Uh, hello. You don't happen to have a weapon for me. A butter knife. Can we equip that? Is that something? Hold, 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 please. Zombies, hold on. <laughs> Don't mind me. Equipping it. It's a weapon. Okay, we got something. Stab him in the fucking eye. Okay, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, open window. And climb. Ha <laughs> ha, suckers. It's a, it's a bit bizarre. What is throwing me off slightly is that we've got... It, it is only things directly in front of you that you can see. Um, but what is throwing me off very slightly is that obviously we can kind of see around us, but we actually can't tell if there's a zombie coming towards us unless we face in that direction. Uh, that's just a case of getting used to the mechanic, I think. Bollocks. Get away! Damn, that was like a prison shank, brother. Right, what have we got in here? School bag. TV, just as good quality as always. Oh, no, 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 I want the ammo. I want the ammo. I did say that this is America and I wanted some... Okay, there we are. Okay. No! Not today. Thank you. I assume the zombies can have loot on them as well, right? Okay, okay, okay. In the, in the window. <laughs> oh, that was a poor idea. Hello. Oh, this was a mistake. Sorry, I was just neighborhood watch. Everything's in order here. Thank you. God damn. I'm already I'm already not a not a big fan of this. Just just conceptually, the game itself seems actually quite fun. Uh just zombie apocalypses, you know. Just zombie apocalypses. They just they just they just bother me. It does bother me. From a from a purely moral perspective. Okay, get out of here. Uh, excuse me. Right, see now I already feel like I've I've fucked this neighborhood. Just run. Just run, little guy. I think we've got a hole in our jumper there. My god, it's nowhere safe. I guess that's sort of the point. Oh Jesus, get away! Don't run, don't run, don't run. Maybe that's the problem. They did say if you run, you'll get caught. I feel like sticking to main roads is, from a, uh, a survival perspective, probably a poor play. Uh, I am going to stick to the main roads. Hello? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Never turn around. Oh, Jesus. Is this a fence we can, we can, we can kind of ambulate over? Climb, you coward. We are bleeding by the looks of it, too. Okay, uh, can I see our stats again, please? We've got damage to the left forearm and a scratched head. I like the look of this gated community over here. If we can get in here, this seems like it could be quite a defensive measure. 
Oh god, I don't like that sound. I really don't like that sound, but I think we're okay. Stick to the fence. Do I dare turn around? Okay, on three. One, two, three. Okay, we're, we're actually okay. This is high, this is high tension, and I, I, I'm a little bit stressed out. Sorry, please. He's a bus driver. Mr. Bus Driver, leave me alone. Okay, we're in. I don't know if this is good or not. It seems like it's a bit more of a defensible position. Uh, this building. Thoroughly fucking ran with zombies, but I mean, getting somewhere like that on lockdown would be great. Bollocks. A uh, gun cabinet. This is a gun cabinet. A hammer! No, I didn't want both hammers. Okay, I think a hammer versus zombies is far better than a butter knife. Oh, there we go. You fucking, you come near me, you try it. Okay, we've got a smash down door. Hello? Avon calling. Oh no, never mind, I'll come back tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, what have we got in here? There's a bin. I fucking love bins. What? Oh my god, there's... One or two zombies. <laughs> the fog of war in this game is aggressive. This is aggressive fog of war. This man clearly needs glasses. Or an opticians or something, good god. They really do lurch out of the fog, don't they? Wow. This is not a Speed 5 game. And that hurts my heart in ways I can't even begin to describe. Oh my god, I feel like I need to rest. Oh shit. Yeah, again, sticking to the main road is a, is a poor idea. Get out of here, loot bar. Okay. We need to get inside. I think we, I think we just need to get inside and hunker down for a little bit. Okay, there's clearly zombies in there. What about this house here? This looks like a safe house. Okay, safe. We safe? Hello? Oh! <gasps> big fan, big fan. Fuck off. Sorry, madam. Not today. Okay. Oh, look at this. Right, you know what? I'm repossessing this house. Madam, we've had calls. Neighborhood disturbance. Excuse me, this is my property now. But don't resist. This is fucking horrible. <laughs> This is brutal. Okay. Okay. Area secured. Open door. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize it was... Didn't realize you were in here. Sorry, my bad. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, this is... This is stress. This is... This is stress simulator. What have we got? Just put a gun in the fridge. For God's sake. What have we got? Okay, nothing particularly in there of any value. Nothing in there. Uh, I think nothing really in that. 9mm rounds. I will take them. Uh, a chocolate, high calorie, long shelf life. That's the ideal, that is the absolute ideal survival food. That is the absolute ideal survival food. Pink light bulb. Can I start barricading or is that... What, what about this? What, is, what are you? What the hell is this thing? Like a, like a washing machine. <gasps> There's a car. So if we do need to escape in... Alright, am I good at carpentry? Disassemble. I'm seeing a saw. You're telling me you don't think you could disassemble a table without a saw? You're high as hell. Oh dear. Uh, madam? I think she's trapped. Hello? Oh my god, where the hell did you come from? No, oh, get away from me. Uh, excuse me. Oh, this is my safe space. Brother. Porsche, oh wait, you fucking weakling. Maybe she was upstairs. I've learned a valuable lesson here today. Don't fuck around with the washing machine until you... Just hammer her. I'm sure all this... It's dark outside. I'm sure all these sounds of combat are... Is she dead? I feel like hiding upstairs is absolutely the way forward, isn't it? Oh dear. Oh dear. Hi! Don't mind me, let's just go upstairs. Just go upstairs. Right, let's check all our... To check all our... All the areas for zombie activity. The last thing you want to do is barricade yourself... Okay, that's quite good. The last thing you want to do is barricade yourself into a house where there's a zombie in the wardrobe. Classic Shaun of the Dead issue there. You think, oh, this place is safe. You shut the door, you hunker down, you get comfy. It's the landlord in the cupboard. Right, what have we got in here? Jacket, shoes, and a vest. Are we, are we wearing shoes? Just put the bed over the hole to get upstairs, and we're safe. It's in here. Oh, Jesus. Open window. No, 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 don't do that. What, is there not a door here? What am I looking at? Oh, Jesus. I can hear zombies. Ah, that's a way into. Oh God, I keep I keep thinking. Think, see, I think think I see things coming up the stairs. Okay, 
Look, let's stay here, right? We're going to sleep here for tonight. Simple reason is, zombie comes upstairs, we throw ourselves out the fucking window. Okay? It's a coward's tactic. I'll be the first to admit that. It's a coward's tactic. It's the right thing to do. D drag this desk. I, I absolutely cannot believe for a second that we cannot bar the stairs up with that desk. I mean, obviously in real life. Obviously in real life, that would be my plan. Have we got what have we got in here? You don't have like five or six packets of paracetamol. You got toothpaste. Oh, that's good. Antidepressants. <laughs> Brother, put me in. Put me in. Right. Uh, just go ahead and... God, you're going to need those. Okay, well done. Well done. We're feeling better about the situation. Uh, pain. It's just life, isn't it? So here's what I'm thinking. We sleep in... In... Uh, oh, wow. Actually, what's in here? Nails. I don't know what I can really do with that, but it sounds like quite practically useful. Shut this door. Get yourself a good night's sleep. Experiencing too much pain to sleep. You are a coward. Uh, how do we, like, patch yourself up? Right-click show treatment menu. Uh, right-click show treatment menu. Right-click where? Uh, I actually don't know. Right-click right, right -click here? Oh, no, maybe we can't treat ourselves. That's probably a bit more likely, isn't it? Plotter Dixon, I'm sorry, but I may have just ruined your life. Honestly, Plotter, just, 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 honestly, just, just go. Oh. <laughs> He's so graceful. Wow. Uh, you think we can... Right. Can we... Drive? How do we drive? We probably don't have the keys in hindsight. Oh, we're dead. What the hell's going on here? Uh. <laughs> How do I get out of the... I think we're dead. Are we like bleeding out in the car? I can't move. Are we just have we just given up? I can't think of anything more appropriate. This you know when everybody says, you know, oh when it's zombie apocalypse, I'll be fine, I've got a plan. You know, you get somewhere high, you start collecting rainwater, you get yourself a weapon prepared. You know, don't use don't use guns, use something blunt. Uh, otherwise, you know, using a sword it gets gets blunt whatever. It's, this is realistically what will happen, right? You flail around a neighborhood for twenty minutes, you walk into a house to get ambushed and then you just climb into a car and bleed out and I think this is the ultimate kind of zombie scenario for me personally wow <laughs> yeah I actually don't know how to get out of the car oh hey there we go right if I'm dying here I'm not going gently into that good night master Wayne oh! I'm getting revenge I'm getting revenge this is for biting me, creeping out of the fog of war, you big shit. Oh, that was a poor swing. That was a poor swing. Just hit her with the hammer. Stop pushing her away. Just give her a give her a club. Brother. Oh, no. Does that mean she's... Okay, okay. Okay. We're here to save the neighborhood. Plotter Dixon versus the world. I will... I will. I think dying in the middle of this, uh, this, this crossroad is, uh pretty appropriate. God, I just wish we had a big fuck off bat or something, you know? Like a big aluminium bat. That's that's the go-to zombie weapon. Well, on the plus side, when we do a proper series on this, when I know how to play, we set the bar so infinitely low. The I d oh my god he's back. Hang on a second. His name. It was Plodder Dixon. What a plot! What, what do zombies do? They plod around. This was fate. The prophecy has been fulfilled. Anyway, I set the bar so incredibly low uh, that I can't possibly fail. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. I, I should probably play a little bit just in my in my free time uh, and, and sort of see if I can figure out what's going on here. Can I notice there seems to be a multiplayer mode, which is very, very compelling. Uh, we, could, we could maybe twitch it, depending on how easy it is to host a game like that.